Here are some tools you can use to change the shape of your model and work with the draft angle inside of Power Surfacing RE. Import your scanned mesh. Quad wrap 2%. Turn on Vertex Display, and you will see they are purple in color. This means that those vertices are constrained to the mesh. See that you can't move the purple points off the mesh. You can only move them around on the original scanned mesh. Select a bunch of the vertices and remove the constraint to the mesh. You can see now that they move freely in 3D. Select the front plane and turn on the power surfacing draft angle display. Adjust it to 8 degrees. Soft selection expands the radius of the influence of the selection with a falloff, so you can manipulate the mesh in a way to maintain smoothness. We have switched the coordinate system to geometry orientation so that it will align the surface normal of the selected objects. You can pull vertices, rotate them, etc. to modify the shape of the resulting sub-D object. Paint selection is also a useful tool for picking points, edges, or faces of a mesh in a given area. You should always shrink wrap prior to conversion back to SolidWorks surfaces. Typically, level 0 gives the smoothest result and level 1, 2, or higher will pick up more detail from the scanned mesh. After shrink wrap, you can hit the green check to convert everything back to SolidWorks geometry. The draft analysis in SOLIDWORKS produces the same results as we saw in power surfacing. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.